It seemed to me the best back-end solution is a VizRT engine, which renders these graphics in real time. The best way to do that is incorporating augmented reality. Create elements within the set that appeared to be real. We needed a solution that would track that data. We stumbled upon Skype, which, which essentially attached a data tracking mechanism to an existing Jimmy Jim crane. We looked at the Skype system it was a fantastic price. Everybody who sees it is amazed by its results. This year, Fox Sports uh, reclaimed the rugby league football rights, which are uh, a big deal in Australia. Lots of Australians love watching this sport, and we, we reclaim the rights to broadcast that. As part of that, we wanted to revamp all our studio magazine shows to essentially give the audience something they'd never seen before. So we, we thought the best way to do that is incorporating augmented reality, which is a new technology, it's a very expensive technology, and create elements within the set that appeared to be real. So we wanted to trick the viewer into thinking that something that it was a continuation of the set or something that was appearing out of the floor was somehow built by us but in reality it was a graphic that we were making. So we wanted to use that for analysis, we wanted to uh, exhibit statistics, um, we also just wanted to give a wow factor to the show by displaying our logos and team logos and, and, and things that were just really visual to basically tell a story in a different way. I went over to IBC last year with the, the sole reason to work out how this was done, that there have been some other TV stations in America that had done this before. And it seemed to me the best back-end solution is a VizRT engine, which renders these graphics in real time. So what, what really sells this graphic system, though, to a viewer is that you have a real cameraman shooting the set and doing moves that a, a cameraman would do. They're not robotic moves, they're, they're native moves to a cameraman. So we needed a solution that would track that data and feed the Viz engine in real time to render the, the 3D graphics at the same stage. So no matter wherever the camera pointed, the graphics matched the perspective and basically locked to a position within the set that sold the idea that there was really something there. Um, so with Viz, we looked at, there are some very, very expensive solutions around that do this data tracking. And then we stumbled upon Skype, which, which essentially attached a data tracking mechanism to an existing Jimmy Jib crane, which uh, in itself, the, the Jimmy Jib crane is an industry standard. So to be able to, uh, transform that into a data capturing camera uh, relatively cheaply was a, a no-brain solution for us and we've been really surprised and really happy with how well it's worked and everybody who sees it is amazed by its results. We looked at the Skype system, it was a fantastic price for something that was costing 10 times more from companies that have been doing it in the past. There were also a few little bonus features that we really didn't expect, but it will turn out to be a very, very exciting thing for us to use. We haven't had a, a crane system in our studios here at Fox Sports before, so none of our camera operators are um, up to speed with fluid movements. So the fact that the Skype box can also do automatic tracking is going to be a great learning tool for these operators to be able to pick up how to move the crane, understand that you've got an expensive piece of camera equipment on an arm that's three metres away from you. So you, you, operating these cameras, you really need to have a seventh sense of, of, of looking at a monitor, realising where the camera is. And with the Skype system to take almost the aiming part of that out, because it tracks automatically, it just makes their life easier. So it'll help them become better operators as we go forward. We're really excited. I think, I think the viewers are going to see something they've never seen before and, and that's exciting for us.